Good morning. Over the next couple of weeks, we'll be spending one tutor session per morning looking at how to revise effectively. As a school, the homework policy now is to revise if you are not set homework. As a year group, we are really, really focusing on this to make sure that we are revising effectively, which will help us in the long term. Today, we're going to think about what's required to revise effectively before we have a go at some examples in the next couple of weeks. So first of all, my question to you is, why do we need to revise? Pause the video here, have a discussion as a tutor group, feedback to your tutor, and then we'll have a look. I'm sure many of you discussed the fact that it's the idea of not forgetting stuff. Now, revision is really, really important, and this graph helps to show us why. Our red line here shows us what our memory is like if we never revise something. So we learn about it in a lesson, and we never ever come back to it again. Within six days, our brain will forget it on average. If after one day, we come back to it and we remember what we went through, we revise it effectively, it will take longer than six days for us to forget it. If we revise it two days on the trot, so we do it day one and two days after, we are less likely to forget it over a long period of time. And this continues. The more we go over it, the slower it takes for us to forget the stuff that we've learned. My next question to you is, how do we revise effectively? What do you do at the moment that helps you to revise? Have a discussion. What environment do we need to have to be able to revise effectively? Pause the video here. Okay. So we're going to watch a short clip now that shows you some examples of somebody revising. I want you to try and pick out if there is anything good in there about how they're revising and also pick out if there is anything that you think isn't very useful or isn't working for them. Have a discussion after watching the clip. Okay, let's do some revision today. I think I'm going to look at science. So let's have a look. What are we going to look at today? Oh, we're going to look at equipment use in science. So I've got my green, my blue, my pink, my orange highlighters. I like to get nice and colourful. I like to understand what's on the page. So I set those all up. Right, let's start. A thermometer used to measure the temperature. We'll highlight that bit. A funnel used to filter liquid. We'll highlight that bit. You can put filter paper inside of a funnel. Oh, we can highlight that bit, that might be useful. Boiling tubes used to heat things. Oh, use the last colour. A bung. What do we use that for? Oh, it's one of those things you put at the top. That's right, that's what you put at the top. A tripod and a Bunsen burner. Use some music to have revise, that might be useful. What can we listen to? Oh, what kind of music do I like? Oh, who do I fancy right now? Who can I go for? Let's go for that. Oh, I hate this music. Let's find something else. Who is it? Oh, I can't go out now. Oh, I can't go out. I've got to do this for I've got to do this for tomorrow. Where is that? I'll keep them contained. I'll come out when I've done this.
hopefully your discussion showed that that wasn't a very good way to revise. Let's talk about some of the issues that you may have picked up on. Firstly, let's talk about the highlighting, these things. Highlighters, although making your page look very colourful, do nothing to help you remember things. They are useful for in your massive exercise books highlighting key statements, but when it comes to revision, they do not help you remember anything. So these can be left in your pencil case until another time. Another thing, let's think about the room. How was the person sat? Do you think they were comfortable? Do you think they were in a very good position to be sat comfortably? And were they also in a position that would have helped them to be able to focus fully? Now, although the chair was very comfortable, the fact that their back was arched over, they need to make sure that they're on a nice table at a nice level, just like the tables you're sat at now. Lastly, the other thing that was going on, distractions. There were two main problems there. Firstly, was music. Now, our brains are only able to deal with several things at once. The fact that we are revising and using lots of different pieces of information will already be working our brain to maximum capacity. If we have music going on in the background, our brain will be thinking about the words and we'll also be thinking about the music choice. Think about how many times I had to look at my phone. That's the other point. My phone. Phones, although being very useful for revision sometimes, are also a major hindrance. I was selecting my music choices, I was replying to my friends. All of that time, I was then not focusing on my revision, which was affecting how much I can remember. Over the next couple of weeks, we'll be trying out different methods that have proven to help with revision and help you remember things. We'll be taking some of the ideas that you're learning in different lessons and different subjects, and we'll be using those to help you try and create some revision resources.